Now, another story heavily discussed online today is the release of the new trailer for the new 3D movie that some in Hollywood claim will change the way movies work forever. You Jake Sully? I'd like to talk to you about a fresh start on a new world. You'd be making a difference. I became a Marine for the hardship. I told myself I can pass any test a man can pass. All I ever wanted was a single thing worth fighting for. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora. You should see your faces. We have an indigenous population called the Nabi. They are very hard to kill. This is why we're here. Because this little gray rock sells for 20 million a kilo. Their village happens to be resting on the richest deposit and they need to relocate. Those savages are threatening our whole operation. We're on the brink of war and you're supposed to be finding a diplomatic solution. Well, that's Avatar, the new film from Titanic director James Cameron. It's certainly getting plenty of buzz online, but is it all hype? Well, joining me to watch a bit of the, this tonight is Robbie Cohen, the film critic for News of the World. What do you make of it, Robbie? Well, the interesting thing about Avatar is, of course, James Cameron's been working on it for a very, very long time indeed, and there was this huge build-up where all people knew about it was, it was going to be a massive sci-fi spectacular. Mm. Then the teaser trailer dropped in uh, August, I think it was, and people were sort of split on that because uh, there was one group of people like me were incredibly impressed by the, the special effects and you know the, the, the real potential for this film. Another group of people were astonished that it was effectively a film about these 10 foot tall blue thundercats uh, <laughs> living on the forest moon of Endor and it just it looked kind of too weird and too out there. Mm. I think what this new trailer does is it gives you a lot more plot details and it shows you better how the film's going to work as a whole. So having seen this through and I know you have done before yes. our transmission of it here what do we learn? What do we know a bit more about? Well, as I said, there's a lot more details of plot. The first one was basically about showcasing these special effects. Cameron had to, to wait until uh, 2009 to release this film because he wanted the computer technology and the 3D technology as well, because of course this is a 3D film, to be up to snuff. Um, what we've got now is moving away from all the kind of uh, the eye candy. We've got more about the characters, and it's specifically this one character who's uh, the Marine Jake Sully, who's played by Sam Worthington from the Terminator film. Uh, we learn that he's going to the uh, the, this alien planet to join in this kind of mining operation and uh, with, with a view to, to somehow getting uh, out of his wheelchair because he's been put out of action. And so we find out a lot more about his motivations. Now, just on, an, on the 3D note, yes. of course, this is getting a lot of hype about 3D. Here we are in still old-fashioned 2D TV Indeed, for yeah, the time yeah. being. So uh, here we are, the movie's over there. Uh, what, is this essential to it from, from what you've read and from what you know about the film? The th it's certainly been designed in. Absolutely. It? Well, from, from day one, Cameron's wanted to make this a 3D film. And uh, the, the, the thing about it is you've got these two kind of uh, schools of thought on 3D. One is that it should be this kind of a thrill ride, and, and the films that are coming out at the moment generally reflect this. You know, a lot of the horror films in 3D, stuff like A Christmas Carol that's coming out from Disney, very much in a thrill ride vein. But you're starting to see filmmakers experiment with using it as a, a device to draw viewers right into the movie, like uh, Up, the new Pixar film, of course. Mm. It's not got things flying out the screen at you, but it really sort of brings you into the picture. I think what Cameron's trying to do with this is both, because you've got these character moments with, you know, just uh, very tight scenes on these individual people. You've okay. also got huge, huge wide battle shots. OK, no, no, let me just show you some of the blogs, which we've been reading a lot of stuff online yes. here. Uh, can the Avatar trailer turn it around? This blogger saying, yes, it can. Uh, the first trailer disappointed. And then if I just jump to another couple of things from the web, which we've had a look at here, uh, this version uh, view of the new Avatar trailer says, if you were disappointed with the old trailer, you will probably like this one. And certainly a final view here, which I'm just going to show you, uh, washing away the scepticism, and certainly the 3D version could herald the start of 3D in a sense then, Robbie, do you think this is the way movies will be made? 3D is really going to start next year? I like to think so. I mean, the, the, the interesting thing was the New Yorker wrote a profile of James Cameron and they said even if he fails on this, he will fail higher than many have succeeded. And that's absolutely true. He's, he's absolutely okay. aiming for the very top. Robbie, good to see you. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed.